to see our finished chassis. I can't wait. Well, I've come up to see the chassis in person. Ours are actually made. First of all, we're going to have a look around and get a bit of a guided tour on the workflow that goes through the whole building, through the paint shop at the end, and everything outside as well. So let's take a look at what's going on here. So this is all raw steel, just coming straight in. Yeah, all, yeah these are all our sections. So a lot of these are only for one particular component. So like that whole pack there would be put into just one meter pieces. Yeah. And it's just one component out of that chassis. So is everything manually lifted on there, or is there yeah, like yeah. a... We use a frame, we use a frame where, for most things, um, if, if it's small and manually, then a whole pack of steel onto the saw. What, it'll cut through a whole bundle? A whole bundle, a whole, whole bundle at a time, yeah. So it'll cut through 18, 20 lengths at a time. Yeah. So how do you prevent too much wastage? Careful planning and, and material choice. I, my, one of my biggest things is, um, is wasted, basically. Yeah. A full scrap bin is us not doing our job quite right. So I spent a lot of time really working in materials back into the design. Um, smaller angle sections so down like the support for it. And yeah, yeah. So with I see you can always use a lot of stuff on other bits. Yeah. And like, uh, I mean, obviously all the, the 100, 120 60 sections, we can cut that down to a smallest 98 mil. My smallest component is 98 mil. Okay, so, so I can, can almost it. infinitely use yeah, yeah. things. Yeah. Unfortunately, the most expensive section in the chassis, the, the 100 or 200 main member box, is the one section that we haven't been able to really work back into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So 100 tons of steel a week, you say you get weekly delivery? Yes, yeah. We're, we're, there's, there's never a weekly go by the something that differentiates us a little bit from a lot of the companies. And in fact, what the process you've just seen is quite rare. Um, almost all the rivals, in fact, I don't even think I could name another company that builds the same way we do. We build upside down. Yeah. Which means then all of the welding underneath is done the right way up. And now we'll turn it over and we'll do all the welding on the top side. Yeah. And you can only really do that if you've got all the lifting gear. Yeah. Almost all of our rivals built the right way up. Yeah. And you, if you look underneath, they won't move on the other side yeah. welding. So you're like almost always welding in the best position. Yeah. Yeah. You have like three or four people welding at all the same chassis all at the same time? Yeah, four people we're running in the jig currently. And for those who are watching our video who want to nerd out, how are you welding? Like, is it all MIG or? Yeah, it's all MIG welding. Um, all, all five on construction site. So they don't have to really alter the sets no, no, too no. much. Uh, but yeah, so it's all mid welded. But yeah, so we because we have these sub assemblies built, like uh, once it's in the jig, it's more like a like a mechano set, like a puzzle yeah, set. Yeah. You know? What are the axles made from? Just box or uh, uh, 60, 60.3 seams tube. Uh, so then that would be the stub axle at the end. Yeah. Obviously, uh, structural grade and machine steel. So that sits within the it's in the tube, so, then, so as you can see, the, the actual the main body of the tube, which goes through, and it's the bow. Comes out this door, and back in the second door. Oh yeah, it's warm. In the winter time, yeah, this is the winter. This is the jump over walls in the winter. The thing is, is that it's a dark colour. People want a dark colour because it's got to disappear, it yeah. disappears. Uh, most people will, will skirt or brick around the base of the home, yeah. but if they are open, you don't want to see you know, no, Ferrari no. red here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the wheeled out and they're just ready to go? That's it, they're wheeled out now. Yeah, we're at the point of finish, they're wheeled out. Um, this will become a stack of eight, just what we're discussing here. I think we've seen everything. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight into the, the production going all the way around here. And now we get to see our finished chassis. I can't wait.
Is it, is it a standard box profile that you use for 90% of surf? Yes, it is. It? Uh, we use 100, 200. Yeah. Uh, we use 4 mil up to 44 foot. Yeah. And we, use, we go to 5 mil for anything over 45 and upwards. So what, the, um, what they do is they build it upside down in yeah. the, into the jig. And in the middle, they'll pack it up, clamp it down, and then it's welded okay. in that position. And the actual box is what holds it gives it the stress yeah and then it comes out again it's like it's got it's got a bit of spring you might find with yours work as well because they're stressed you, you it, when it's there it, it will look like it's sitting like that yeah once you start to put your walls and stuff on I love the sound so yeah. we've got all our steel is certified all the work we do in there is certified everything gets signed off with drawings yeah which is how when you approached us yeah, about the new the chassis the spec, so. with the spec and all that. Yeah. That's how we've ended up with our five metre yeah. chassis. Can you name on it for you? What, the stinky one? Yeah. What? Yeah. It's going to be cosy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're going to have to five metres, as I say, we've, we've, we've put it on. Is it what you expected? Uh, it's, it's perhaps the, uh, perhaps Come we might have attached the wrong... Uh, <laughs> right. The wrong drawing. Come and have a look around. But as I said, we put stuff on the back as well. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I'm well, glad you saved that one for last. Uh, I, was, uh, I, was, I, was, I was going to text you and say, oh, we've had a disaster. It's going to be six or seven weeks before we can get them. And I've got, <laughs> I thought, about what you've been through. I'd, I I'd probably I break do down it. in tears. No, I couldn't <laughs> do it. Do you. These are your chests. Amazing. Wow. Half a You should have put trust. <laughs> That's what it's gone through as a project, trust. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. If we're, when we're towing, it slots in there, does it? Yeah, it slots in there, then it just, it's, it comes out. It's a tow so you take it up um, full length, and you put it in straight in. Yeah. Short. Uh, well, here we go. We have chassis. We can build now. Thank you very much to the guys who have uh, given me the big tour. Reassured my faith in trades and fabricators and well humanity and our best bit of all I get to call Joe reassure her that the chassis are made and we're finally going to get to build this house I'll link to UE chassis down below in the description remember this is not a paid thing we've spent a lot of money on these chassis here but partly to reassure myself that they were being made but also just out of interest wanted to come up and see them being made and they are and they nearly well they did they got me with the april fools right thanks for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time <laughs>